ओम ज्ञानतिरंदस ज्ञानाजनाशलाखा चक्षुर मिलत तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदाम ददा स्वदाक वंदेह श्रीगुरून श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागर जाता सहगण रघुनाथ तम सजीव साधवैत सार्वदूत परिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पदान सहगण ललिता श्री विशाखाता नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देश तारिणे हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी ऋषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचा कल्पतृभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतितान पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम श्रीकृष्णा चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा डे डिटीज आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस वंडरफुल क्लास ऑन दी पास्ट टाइम्स ऑफ लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ सो प्राइमली टुडे विल बी स्पीकिंग दी पास्ट टाइम्स ऑफ लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ some of the past times you definitely must be knowing but some of these past times definitely even if you know they have some uh, mood or some uh, tatva behind that particular leela so we'll be just discussing that and i'll be going a little more into how the jagannath temple uh, the inside of the jagannath temple certain you know uh, certain areas of the jagannath temple i'll be actually discussing and uh, we'll be just knowing that uh, what are some of the very amazing things about the jagannath temple so uh, i'll be just starting with the story where one day uh, king indradumna who is uh, uh, he was the uh, king of uh, the capital of uh, uh, avantipura and in his kingdom everybody was very happy because that whole land of that king was filled with peace and prosperity and there was uh, because it, it was the satyoga so the king had a very huge heart and he was always enlightening his subjects but the king always felt a little vacancy in his heart uh, and he hankered uh for uh, pleasure beyond the dharma artha kama moksha so one day uh, when king indradumna he was lamenting that he was not able to serve the lord directly uh, and all of a sudden a pilgrim he appeared and he said that uh, he had actually seen the lord uh, accept some direct loving services uh, in neel madhav in his dt form so the lord supreme lord will incarnate in many ways uh, throughout uh, the yugas and sometimes he will manifest himself in a stone form and in a metal form or uh, in a wooden form just to please his devotees and accept their loving service so this particular traveler he described how on some very remote mountain on the top of niladri he had seen the demigods worshiping the supreme lord now the king was immediately you know uh, thinking that yes i want uh, you know to take darshan of the lord so he immediately you know sent his uh, uh, chief brahmana priest uh, vidyapati to find this particular deity uh, so that all of this avantipur uh, avantipur that is the kingdom that he ruled on uh could be presented at the lotus feet of the lord as an offering he wanted to offer himself also and his kingdom in the service of the lord so uh, vidyapati was traveling 
and he found out the mountain niladri he where he is discovering also all the sabaras and uh, these sabaras are actually they are low born people and they are actually pig herders like you have sheep herders so uh, they are the pig herders and uh, they were actually they camped themselves around that particular day so uh, this vidyapati uh, he married one of this uh, uh, chief herder uh, the the chief herder's daughter uh, and this chief herder's uh, chief herder's name was vishwasu and uh, he was also worshiping the supreme lord in secrecy so um, uh, the daughter's name was lalita so uh, somehow the other uh, 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 vishwasu's daughter she said that no i want to get married to this person only so vishwasu finally agreed and uh, he uh, you know got married so one day vishwasu uh, who used to regularly go and you know serve the lord uh vidyapati was a little doubtful that why is he going every day because that day he went in the afternoon came the next day morning so you know, vidyapati was thinking that uh, uh vidyapati told his wife that no i also want to uh, you know worship and i want to see that lord so then vishwasu you know finally agreed to show lord neel madhav to vidyapati but you know he will be he will have his eyes closed so it's like a blindfolded for him and but vidyapati what he did he tricked his father in law by you know sprinkling some mustard seeds along that particular path so that these seeds that would eventually sprout and lead this uh, uh this person back to the lord so men, for many years uh, neel madhav you know was served by vishwasu with very some simple fruits and flowers and um, now uh, because neel madhav knew the prayers of king indra dumna so neel madhav now is speaking to vishwasu the girl's father and he revealed that uh, you know uh, he wants uh, because you are worshiping me with very simple flowers and fruits but now uh, i want a more opulent worship uh, according to the desires of indra dumna swami uh, sorry uh king indradumna so vishwasu was very much you know devastated he was thinking oh uh you know he was feeling sad also but he said that no one can actually uh, predict the plan of the lord sometimes he might just bestow some special mercy on his devotee by being present before him or sometimes that mercy is shown just through separation which actually increases the a uh, longing and attachment of that particular devotee for the supreme lord so uh, especially when the dt was speaking to him uh, did not strike that vishwasu uh, you know was very remarkable he was too much absorbed you know in that sadness or grief of neel madhav's disappearance so uh, he was thinking that only this vidyapati is to be blamed so he blamed vidyapati for you know persuading uh, neel madhav to accept uh you know king indradumna's worship so he accused vidyapati that you cheated on me and uh, mm, uh you took favor from me and uh, so uh, you know uh, vishwasu he bound vidyapati with ropes but uh, because uh, his daughter when she heard uh you know her husband crying out for help and then that's why she freed him and uh, vidyapati returned to avantipur so when vidyapati returned to uh, avantipur uh, king indradumna he climbed up on his chariot and led many armies where they were located and uh, they they were trying to struggle with this temple door and they discovered that neel madhav from there had vanished because indradumna king indradumna was called over there uh, to see neel madhav but uh, they were suspecting vishwasu that oh how come you know neel madhav's dt has disappeared or vanished so vishwasu was suspected of removing that particular dt but uh, in his in his desperation to keep the lord 
he might have done anything who knows but then they found out that this chief of this uh, 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 this vishwasu he was still uh, you know crying for neel madhav on that particular mountain because of the departure he was not believing you know uh, 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 his lament that they had arrested vishwasu so suddenly narad muni from there uh, he sees all this and he actually comes and he appears on the scene and then uh, uh, he reveals that what had exactly happened to neel madhav so uh, he said that the lord has withdrawn uh, his own you know darshan uh, because it is his free will that he wants to you know uh, choose to appear or disappear so he said that uh, narad muni said that um, he would reappear again in the form of jagannath to you know give darshan to all the devotees ar around the world so and then he said that neel madhav had enjoyed the most uh, simple and very intimate service of vishwasu and that is why again he will appear as jagannath before uh, his devotees so uh, narad muni announced that a very great temple must be constructed so then you know lord brahma who is the you know head of all the or the chief of all the demigods uh, uh, would receive indra dhunna on his own planet and then uh, plan for the sacred installation of jagannath swami in the world so when the time uh, when the time came the temple was finally completed and then narad muni was uh, you know escorted uh, you know he escorted indra dhunna to his uh, father's abode that is satyaloka so the home of the lord uh, brahma is actually inaccessible to any normal human being but uh, king indra dhunna's devotion was so great that even lord brahma was eager to meet him so lord brahma then you know uh, further they discussed that how lord jagannath would appear in a very nice wooden form uh, from a very great kalpavriksha tree and uh, it will be transported from this spiritual planet to shweta dwipa so imagine that tree from which the lo the lord is being carved that is actually a kalpavriksha tree its name is daru brahman the tree's name is daru brahman but uh, it is transported from the spiritual world to the earth so uh, uh, there are also many other you know sayings that how the pandas or the pujaris will find that particular tree so the lord himself will come in the dream of the pujari and when he comes in the dream of that particular pujari then the, the lord will give directions also that in this direction uh, you know that particular tree will be and there will be a snake sitting and uh, what will be you know the direction of the tree and that's how uh, the pandas will cut that particular tree and make the new next deity after every 12 years a new deity is being carved of lord jagannath so that's how so uh, when king indra dhunna he returned to the earth uh, you know in his spaceship from brahma's planet he noticed that so many things had changed though he was just away for a very small time but on the earth many many ages and many many years had passed and no one recognized him as his you know as his own king or no one they recognized that oh he is the king and but uh, his uh, priest vidyapati he also had been placed by another so then you know the king was really bewildered that you know uh, you know some uh some mystical crow from somewhere he came and he revealed that uh all of this his associates had died in his absence and for the sake of worshiping the supreme lord he had lost everything all his family friends kingdom and uh, despite his hardship king indra dhunna he remained very uh, you know steady in his devotion to the supreme lord he did not lose his courage at all and he knew that sometimes the lord is testing uh, the devotees by taking away everything and sometimes he gives many things you know bole na chhappar phad ke dete bhagwan he will give also and he will take away also according to his own plan for his own devotee what is best for his devotee so king indra dhunna was very determined and to you know he he was very much eager 
uh, for the lord's arrival so he was uh, he started fasting he started fasting uh, till death uh, so then jagannath appeared in his dream and uh, uh he said that uh, he he said to lord uh, king indragumna that uh, don't worry you know there will be a log floating in the ocean and it is not a very ordinary tree uh the this is a very huge tree and it had come uprooted from the spiritual sky from that same place where you had gone so and uh, hmm and that particular wooden log will have the same transcendental energy as the lord's own body so even uh, a big mighty army could not actually move it uh, so one very you know uh, one very low sabara he stepped from that crowd and he handled that huge trunk with very ease though that log of wood was very very heavy but very easily so it was very amazing to see that um, that particular uh, person or that sabara he actually was vishwasu only the uh, father in law of vidyapati um, father of Lal Lal lalita and he carried this log till the gundicha temple uh, for that preparation so all these you know great craftsmen had come all around the world they were assembling they wanted to carve this particular deity you know according to all the scriptural injunctions but all their tools are simply shattered into pieces because they were not able to even carve one simple knock also on that particular log so then one very mysterious brahman he appeared uh, his name was uh, ananta maharana and he agreed to carve the deity of the lord but uh, it had to be done in a very uh, it had to be done actually according to the terms of this uh, ananta brahman and uh, he said that he wants complete isolation for three weeks and all these gates were locked and you know uh, and uh, all uh, the whole gates were locked and all the gates were locked and the um, uh, beat of the chisel resounded for days and days again and again this so uh, two weeks later you know uh, that you know beating of the chisel stopped so king indradumna was really worried he said that oh maybe you know the brahmana must have died or something he must have fallen unconscious we really don't know so the king you know uh, getting so much eager to welcome the lord he actually uh, opened the doors and he discovered a very very unusual sight a form of that deity never he had seen before so lord's form was actually apparently unfinished over here because he did not have any hands or feet and the emperor you know the king was uh, you know fearing that he had made a great mistake by opening the doors too early uh, because uh, that particular uh, aged uh, you know ananta brahman who was carving he had just vanished so then um, indradumna maharaj was actually cursing his foolishness that oh what foolishness have i done why did i open this particular door and uh, and uh, 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 he was trying to actually console himself so uh, this particular uh, you know sabara said that see whatever is happening it is happening by the will of the lord so you are just acting out of love so there cannot be something wrong so uh, in love krishna accepts everything so uh, so uh, this uh, uh, this pre chief priest he was saying that uh, this deity of jagannath with balram and uh, this, uh, this subhadra they should be actually painted and dressed very nicely and they should be you know ready for installation and who will be doing the installation lord brahma himself will be doing the installation lord brahma who is the first jiva in this creation and who is the first person with whom the supreme lord has interacted not only interacted but the supreme lord has given him very wonderful instructions also about the creation so uh, king indradumna he was feeling very ashamed you know that uh, you know 
uh, what have i done unnecessary I, you know he was feeling actually uh, repentant that uh, you know unnecessary i you know opened the doors and you know the hands and legs of the lord were not completed but uh, narad muni he came and he revealed the lord's plan that the lord wanted to come in this particular form only now why did the lord want to come in this particular form also we'll just have to go back into a little history 5000 years back when krishna was uh, residing with his queens in dwarka so where krishna was all the time uh, very much uh, you know in separation from the brajavasis the cows the gopis the gopas nanda yashoda and all and uh, he was not very comfortable he was not very happy in dwarka so one day when uh, krishna and balram were away and uh, all these queens also could see that see our husband krishna he is not very happy though we are giving him you know lots of opulent food and the best of best things and we are giving try to give him the best comfort as far as possible but still the lord's heart is not contented it is not very much satisfied and the lord again and again keeps on remembering you know the vrajavasis so one day out of curiosity these queens they went to mother rohini so mother rohini they they question mother rohini that please tell the past times of lord krishna because what is so special in these gopis what is so special in the you know the living entities of vraja so mother rohini said that see uh, i don't want that you know krishna balram here and then they become sad again so somebody will have to guard the door and uh, till the time somebody guards the door then i'll be able to speak otherwise uh, if somebody comes in then it will be very difficult so so badra said that yes i will guard the door so she stood you know like in two arm, arms like that but when mother rohini started narrating the past times of lord krishna this childhood past times even subhadra was also she lost her external consciousness and she became so much absorbed into the past times of the lord and uh, when uh, mother rohini was narrating the past time of the lord so even lord krishna came in that time and he also started hearing his own childhood past times so he also lost external consciousness and because he lost ex external consciousness his eyes widened and his hands and limbs they contracted and now the same with even balram happened when balram also came in and he was because of course where krishna's past times are there then balram is of course over there he is always present over there so even balram was hearing his own childhood past times so he also lost his external consciousness and uh, he also you know became absorbed into this past times and his limbs also contra contracted and his eyes also broadened like for example even if you'll see in your own lives when uh, when when something interesting you hearing something very interesting what happens what do you do your eyes broaden right or your eyes open up when something very interesting you are looking at something very beautiful or you are hearing also and you are looking also so same with the lord that the lord's eyes expanded and his hands contracted his limbs contracted now exactly what happened that uh, narad muni actually happened to see this particular form and narad muni saying i saw this form i saw this form and he was a uh, very jubilantly you know dancing that he had seen he had never ever seen the, the supreme lord this beautiful form so in the meantime uh, when narad muni actually started you know uh, you know what do you say shouting out or he was uh, you know jubilantly calling out and i have seen i have seen so immediately krishna and balram and subhadra they came into their external consciousness and then narad muni is uh, demanding that i want to see this beautiful form and because narad muni is a very pure devotee of the supreme lord so narad muni said that no i want to i want that the people in kaliyuga should worship your this very merciful form and because narad muni is a very pure devotee of the supreme lord the supreme lord has to agree to the demands of his pure devotee so then uh 
Uh, Narad Muni, when he said that, see how he had seen this form before uh, while he, he was in Dwarka. So then um, uh, Narad Muni is announcing, uh, you know, that his father Brahma would actually soon arrive to install this DT. And before the celebration began now, so we are coming back now again to, you know, King Indradumna's time where he's going to install that particular DT. So, and then, uh, then Narad Muni is uh, announcing that his father, Lord Brahma, he would be, you know, uh, installing this particular deity. So, before the celebration began, Brahma gave King Indradumna a very nice divine vision to see uh, that his new forms were actually the embodiment of, uh, you know, his old uh, companions who was Vidyapati and Vishwasu and Lalita. So uh, then that is how the story of Jagannath's appearance, you know, uh, you know, was, uh, you know, narrated and it was ending happily. So this is the reunion of the Lord's loving devotees to honor the Supreme Lord, to serve the Supreme Lord and to have these loving exchanges with the Supreme Lord. So, Vidyapati, Vishwasu and Lalita were none other than the Supreme Lord himself uh, in the form of Jagannath Baldev and Subhadra. So, after thousands of years, even Jagannath deity remains a very much source of unlimited joy to his friends and servants. Uh, you know, servants. So, even during the Rathyatra, you know, if you see there is so much of loving exchange between uh, the, the Supreme Lord and his devotees. And anybody who is taking part into the Rathyatra, because see, why is that Rathyatra happening? What is the reason for, the exact reason for why that Rathyatra exactly happens? So, if you see, when this particular DT was installed, this DT was uh, installed at the uh, on the Purnima day, the uh, Ashadi Purnima day actually, or uh, the, what is that date exactly? Uh, tithi, I don't remember. I just have to see what that Tithi is. It is, I think, uh, Jesht Mas Purnima. So on that particular day, uh, you know, that is the birth or the appearance of the uh, Supreme Lord. And that is the day where Lord Jagannath appeared in front of uh, the Supreme Lord. Sorry, Lord Jagannath appeared in front of King Indradumna. And uh, so that is why uh, that day is called Snan Yatra. Okay. So of course, you know, when the Lord, you do Abhishek and everything of that, of the Lord. So that is the appearances. Now what happens because, oh, because uh, when the Lord was bathed, all the rivers, uh, you know, water from a particular well was bought uh, to bathe Lord Jagannath because the Lord himself said that go to this particular place and, you know, there is a well and that well has, you know, many rivers water and I want to be bathed. So every year, the Lord is being bathed with that well's water and um, 108 Kalash water is being, uh, you know, poured on Lord Jagannath. And that's how uh, Lord Jagannath Snan Yatra is there. But now because too much of water, so the Lord falls ill for 14 days. And that is why uh, uh, during those 14 days, the Lord is served very bland food, boiled food. And uh, because he is ill, so only fruits and, you know, and fruits also very limited fruits and boiled food and khichdi and all is served. Now, because he has been ill for those 14 days, so now he wants to go out for a stroll or he wants to move out because he's been locked in the house for 14 days. So he feels that, no, I want to go out and, you know, stroll. So that's how uh, after he falls, uh, you know, after the 14th day, then after 14 days are completed, then he moves out on the rath and he gives, uh, uh, you know, Darshan to his uh, dear devotees. So uh, after that Snan Yatra also, um, then the Lord comes out of uh, 
uh, the the temple and he gives darshan to everybody so uh, if you see even king indradumna had done ashwamega yagya uh, yeah, before even constructing the jagannath temple and uh, he actually had done a lot of penances and all to gain the what do you say mercy of the supreme lord so like that there are many many pastimes and many many you know stories about lord jagannath one story which is there which is very prominent story it's of uh, a, a, a devotee called salve so uh, once the once one of the subedars of lord jagannath uh, they were actually you know they were uh, they had conquered a particular kingdom and they were moving so this particular uh, the sub subedar's name was lal beg so this lal beg was a womanizer any woman he used to see he used to he wanted to enjoy that woman so one day what happened this uh, lal beg he saw some women and most of the women ran away but one brahmin woman who was a widower she was not able to escape from his uh, uh, you know grip and he said that i will get married to you but she was pleading but he did not listen to his plead and uh, he uh, he forcefully got married to her and uh, he converted her into a muslim and uh, uh, he named her fatima so from this lal beg there were five children born to uh, fatima and um, fatima was uh, you know but out of those five children only uh, one child survived and four other died so that fifth child name was actually sal beg so then uh, one day what happened is that uh, uh, because they were actually following that muslim culture itself so one day what happened that when uh, lal beg had gone on the uh, war front with his son sal beg both were very badly injured when both were very badly injured so fatima was serving very nicely to them but unfortunately lal beg died and uh, he was not able to survive much but fatima was very much uh, you know concerned about the son's well being so she was praying so when she was praying lord jagannath uh, was you know uh, coming in her dream and uh, uh, so you not in her dream but uh, jagannath came in salbeg's dream because uh, 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 fatima was very much worried about the child so then um, lord jagannath came in salbeg's dream and he said that see this is a bowl of you know herbs paste and you please apply this paste and you will become all right so the sal beg he applied you know that particular paste and very soon he got cured also and he was saved so then uh, uh, he was saying that i want to dedicate my life so because of course you know he is born from a bra is born in a brahmana's from a brahmana's mother's womb so he was requesting his mother that i want to know more about the lord you please tell me so she actually educated him a lot uh, in the past times of lord jagannath and she told about the supreme lord also where uh, every time and even when she, when he was ill she used to keep on narrating the past times of the lord and that's how this sal beg developed love for the supreme lord and he was uh, all the time you know praying to the supreme lord to uh, re relieve him from that uh, you know precarious condition and that's how the lord came in his dream the sal beg was a very wonderful uh, devotee of the supreme lord and the sal beg uh, used to uh, uh, used to regu very regularly he used to uh, you know worship the supreme lord but one day what happened his mother also died so then sal beg decided that i will go to jagannath puri and i will reside over there only and sal beg's uh, prime uh, uh, no duty over there in jagannath puri was that uh, if you see in jagannath puri something very amazing is also there in jagannath puri that fire which is used for cooking the lord's bhoga that fire does not extinguish any time so it was the duty of uh, sal beg 
that uh, he would never allow that particular fire to be extinguished but for that the king wanted some some person who was a very competent person so that time the king announced the king of jagannath puri he announced that whoever can stand with a burning uh, what do you say mashal in his hand for three days and three nights that person will be the absent fit so sal beg was that one many people tried but sal beg was the only person who was able to do so now sal beg was actually appointed as the but eventually sal beg also became very old the but the supreme lord reciprocated with him the supreme lord uh, you know took care of him and uh, um, the supreme lord personally reciprocated with sal beg and with his devotion so this is one story where we see that how the supreme lord is uh, every time jagannath will come in the dream of a particular pujari or the particular devotee and he will console him and uh, uh, he will always reciprocate so one such story which comes to my mind is uh, the story of uh, this a uh, sweet little lady called karma bai so karma bai you know was a very small child and her parents were in rajasthan back in rajasthan and uh, uh, they used to worship uh, you know uh, the supreme lord and they used to worship lord jagannath so one day they had to in the month of kartik they wanted to go to pushkar and have a bath in that particular uh, um, holy place so they told the daughter that see we are going to have a bath in pushkar you please you know offer the food to the lord and then you have it and all the required uh, materials for cooking the food is there in the kitchen itself so this karma bai she cooked she cooked very nice lovely khichdi for the lord and she offered it but the lord did not you know accept only so she came after one hour she saying the lord is not accepting after two hours like that it became evening still the lord had not accepted so then she started crying that why is the lord not accepting even i am hungry the lord is also hungry and uh, you know how far this will go on so then the lord revealed that see you are not close the curtain then how will i eat so then immediately uh, she uh, uh, she closed the curtain and then that's how the lord supreme lord had then every day you know uh, this would go on that every early morning she used to cook for the lord and he used to have it and she used to add some jaggery also and some nice rice and all nice other vegetables also and the lord used to relish eating her khichdi he was very very much you know pleased to have eating her khichdi so eventually uh, her parents died and she settled in jagannath puri so uh, when she settled in jagannath puri the lord used to first come at her place and eat that khichdi and uh, he used to every day very happily he used to come and eat that khichdi and the, the supreme lord uh, uh, you know the supreme lord uh, uh, used to always have very nice loving exchanges with this karma bai so when karma bai grew old and there was one day a particular brahmana he came and he is telling that see you know uh, you are worshiping the supreme lord you are not even having a bath because she used to cook as soon as she used to wake up she used to immediately cook for start cooking for the lord without having a bath or without following any rituals of doing gayatri or chanting or changing clothes or anything of that sort so then this brahmana said that see you should you know do all these rituals and then you should cook for the lord so then uh, she said okay because she was very simple whatever you know the sadhu sans told her she was obeying so then the next day morning you know she started uh she woke up early she started having a bath cleaning the way and jagannath in the meantime came he saying oh she hasn't cooked anything for me he 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 went then again after some time jagannath came again she was actually cleaning the kitchen then again went like this four to five times uh jagannath came and uh, jagannath uh, uh, you know left from her place hungry so then that day also when the pujari was offering bhoga uh, jagannath was not ready to take that and everybody is you know wondering that what exactly has happened so at night lord jagannath comes in the 
uh, in the dream of uh, the pujari and he says that see you go and tell that particular brahmana okay that to go and tell this karma bhai that the first thing in the morning i want is khichdi and not to follow all these rules and regulations uh, which are there first thing i want is you know the khichdi in the morning so then uh, that pujari called all the other pujaris and then they went to that brahmana and then when that brahmana went and told karma bhai that see you are a very pure devotee and you please continue your service because lord jagannath wants it that way so you please continue your services in the same manner as you used to do previously so that the lord is happy and uh, you can serve him at proper time so <clears throat> then uh, uh, then the supreme lord was very happy because she was cooking and uh, she was uh, she was serving the lord but when she became very old the lord in fact was uh, very much this and the lord tried to serve her in his best possible way and she went back home back to god this is how the lord reciprocates with his pure devotees and very simple very simple sweet devotees where no malice no pride no ego no envy from anybody and that's how the lord reciprocates with uh, with such people or such simple devotees also so one more story which uh, i really remember this very nice story there was a very nice uh, devotee of lord ram in jagannath puri and uh, uh, his name was uh, ragudas so he used to come and worship and he used to take darshan of the lord but uh, he never had that attachment with lord jagannath but one day lord jagannath he gave him darshan in the form of lord ram lakshman and sita so from that day his devotion for the lord increased many fold and uh, one day he prepared a very nice garland but that garland was made from the Uh, you know bark of the banana tree you know with the strings of that banana tree and the pujari did not accept it and uh, uh, this ragudas was very sad he did not eat and because he did not eat the lord did not eat the pujaris are wondering why the lord is not eating and uh, then the uh, the supreme lord comes in the dream of uh, the pujari and he says that see why you didn't accept uh, this particular garland tomorrow morning first thing you accept this garland and then only i will eat so uh, the lord reciprocated with that particular devotee uh, in that way and at old age also because this ragu das now was very simple and he used to all the time serve and every time he used to bring garlands so if you see in jagannath puri that Uh, in uh, jagannath puri there are certain families which are allotted uh, very much any means from generation to generation they are allotted one seva only so for example one particular family is allotted to bring cooking water from that well to the kitchen for cooking jagannath prasad or one family is making only garlands one family is making only tulsi garlands one family is doing only pujari services or one family is only doing that stitching work of uh, the uh, clothes for the supreme lord or one family is just making garlands for the supreme lord so or one family is cooking only rice for the cook uh, for the supreme lord or one you know from generation to generation or one family is making only carts during the rath yatra so their generations and generations will be preparing carts for uh, the supreme lord or somebody one family is making betel nuts for the supreme lord so this is how you know pujaris are serving in uh, jagannath puri so this particular uh, ragudas was uh, even at old age you know uh, he was serving lord jagannath balde subhadra but when he was very much old and he was bedridden so then lord jagannath uh, he was not able to even get up 
So Lord Jagannath came in the form of a very small boy and he was cleaning the stool of uh, Raghudas and uh, mm, regularly he cleaned. So one day, you know, Raghudas came to know that the Lord, you know, came and served uh, him in the form of this small boy and he was very much, uh, you know, uh, he much, he was very much repentant and oh God, he was feeling very much ashamed that Oh, Lord had to come and serve me, you know. And he was asking the Jagannath that, why did you come? Why did you come and serve me, you know? You know, you could have just left me like that. But Lord Jagannath said that, see, um, uh, all your prarabdha karmas, uh, you know, get cleared when you suffer. If I wanted, I could have immediately, you know, just... Uh, you know, strolled on your head and immediately everything would get vanished. But your karmas would not get vanished. For that, you'll have to work hard or suffer for those karmas. So, and he wanted that all your karmas get cleared in this life only. So then the Supreme Lord uh, was in Sakya Ras with this uh, Raghu, Raghudas. And that's how Raghudas was, uh, you know, transported to the spiritual world where he still uh, plays with the Supreme Lord or has a Sakyaras relationship with the Supreme Lord. So, <clears throat> if you see these all pastimes, like even this uh, story of uh, Markandar Rishi, <clears throat> how he is also discovering, uh, you know, Purushottam Shetra where hmm, uh, you know, uh, he, uh, where there was a big, 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 uh, what do you say, uh, dissolution of this universe and uh, uh, dissolution or pralaya, you can say, that everything is getting submerged in the sea. And this Rishi Markande, who has been able, he, Rishi Markande is actually, uh, strength is what? That he is able to... Um, retain his uh, original form and uh, he's able to what do you say i'm not getting the right words uh, he's able to retain his physical body uh, for even seven kalpas so and he was not able to you know because there was actually there was pralaya he was not getting a single place of land to rest so he was very worried and said, now no, where I will get this, you know, I'm so worried and where do I get my peace of mind? So that currents of water, he was flowing from one place to another, he's being tossed. And finally, while he was floating, he reached Purshottam Chetra, like Jagannath Puri. And there he saw one, uh, you know, tree called Akshavata. And where he, uh, and on that tree, he saw that there is a child crying. And that child was saying that Markanda, Markanda, don't worry. You know, come to me and leave all your worries and you please come to me. So then Markanda Rishi is hearing very strange voice and he was astonished saying that in all this water tossing and this, uh, you know, this what is this voice come and and this place looks like, you know, a boat and, and you know, this banyan tree and the when Akshavata is called a banyan tree, so standing like a big pillar, nothing can you know shirk this uh, banyan tree. So he was wondering that how this place has not been affected by the pralaya, and how is it not being submerged in the water with this pralaya? So, um, and who is calling me out with so much of compassion? So while he was you know thinking all these things and all. Uh, uh, you know, he saw Lord Vishnu and uh, Mother Lakshmi and uh, he was very pleased and he's paying obeisances to them and then after that he was praying to the Lord uh, by, by, you know, reciting many wonderful prayers. So, as soon, like see, whenever we see the Lord, we immediately need to glorify him or praise him. Then we can thank him. There are three, some, three, four steps as soon as you take the darshan of the Lord. First is you glorify the Supreme Lord. Oh, the Supreme Lord, you are so, you know, wonderful. You are so great. Oh, you are the Supreme Personality of God. And even all the demigods bow down to you. You 
you are the master of the universe and so kindly you have given me birth as a in the human form and thank you so much so you're thanking now you glorify and you thank that you gave me such wonderful uh, human birth and in that human birth also you put me in a vaishnava family and in the vaishnava family also then you're putting me among the association of the best of devotees what else krishna can i ask from you uh, uh, you know that you have given me uh, much more than what i actually deserve i deserve to be rotting in some you know dirty filthy place but here is that you put me at the topmost place so i'm so thankful to you so these are some of the prayers and then you reveal your heart revealing the heart means revealing your incapabilities or your uh, uh, or your drawbacks in front of the supreme lord which uh, or your challenges before the supreme lord which he will help you to overcome eventually so the sage you know he was uh, you know the supreme lord was very pleased and uh, uh, he said to markanda rishi that see you don't worry all your distresses you give it to me you know you're just uh, you do not know what my form is and because you're ignorant of my form uh, you know uh, you are in this distress but since you have done a lot of uh, you know tapasya and uh, you know we, and because you have done a lot of tapasya you have got a very long life so uh, 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 the supreme lord thinks see look at that child who is sleeping in the leaf of this uh, uh, you know this banyan tree so the supreme lord is saying he is kal rupa of everybody so uh, see, uh, so then uh, she is telling that what you can do is you can enter into his mouth and stay there comfortably there nobody will disturb and you will be completely happy and you will not have any distress also so this rishi markande was very much astonished he then then he is climbing that banyan tree then he saw a very small child uh, you know uh, child form of the supreme lord and then uh, the rishi he entered the stomach through the mouth of the supreme lord and there he is seeing that in the stomach of the supreme lord he is saying uh, like how krishna also had shown mother yashoda the whole cosmic manifestation in his mouth so over here the lord is showing it in his udar or in his stomach so all this floating cosmic worlds uh, all the gods demigods rishis gandharvas demons all the rivers mountains cities seas and he also uh, saw all the uh, 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 you know, fourteen planetary systems uh, above and below. He saw Atala, Sutala, Vitala, Patala, and thousands of snake women also. Even he saw Sheshnag, who is actually carrying the entire world on his hoods. He saw everything that Lord Brahma had created. You know, during this particular creation of this universe, but he could not find the end of the stomach. So he finally again he came out from that. mouth of the child and he again saw vishnu uh, with mother lakshmi and then uh, the lord said to him see uh, you know see this this three rishi this is a very strange place in the you know this the place is very strange and this place this particular place that he was standing on is my eternal abode and uh, this particular place uh, is uh, Uh, never affected by either the creation or dissolution or any of this pralaya and uh, any of the laws of this universe are not bound, uh, this particular place is not bound by any laws of this pralaya so a person who is entering into this place he and if he knows that this is my eternal nature and uh, you know i am personally present over here uh, in my original form he will never take birth again and then um, uh, the markanda rishi he is praying to the lord that please allow me to please stay in this place i want to just permanently stay in this. and the lord said that, okay uh, i will stay in this place that you know is giving uh, liberation till the end of this pralaya and then after pralaya when i will create again uh, the new creation uh, the sanatan tirtha that is the eternal holy place 
फॉर यू यर देन यू विल वर्शिप लॉर्ड शिवा एंड देन बिकॉज लॉर्ड शिवा इज द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड सेकेंड फॉर्म एंड देन यू विल कॉन्कर डेथ एंड देन दिस ऋषि ही डग अ बिग यू नो टैंक बाय द हेल्प ऑफ दिस यू नो सुदर्शन चक्र ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड and uh, in the direction and then uh, uh, he was residing in this uh, holy place uh, or you can say that holy tank and this rishi is worshiping uh, lord shiva and then he conquered death and this tank is actually markandeshwar tank if you see when you go to jagannath puri uh, markandeshwar sarovar you can say so anybody who is taking bath in this particular sarovar he will have a very much uh, nice uh, you know and he will take darshan of the lord also and he will have uh, anybody who is bathing also they saying that you will get the benefit of conducting uh, one ashmavega yagya so uh, if you see purushottam kshetra is like you know uh, spread it five kroshas great sea two kroshas are there and the sea cousin it is surrounded by very much clear golden sands blue mountains are there and who is personally protecting this particular dham is lord shiva uh, in the form of yameshwar uh, he is so lord shiva is called kshetrapal also kshetra means the dham of the supreme lord or that particular area so lord shiva is personally protecting uh, that particular dham so wherever the supreme lord abode is there lord shiva is like a kshetrapal or you can say the guarding deity of that particular abode or that particular dham so uh, you know anybody who is worshiping lord shiva over there uh, he gets benefits of uh, you know worshiping and seeing uh, one crore shivalingas one crore shivalinga and there are so many shivalingas but anybody is worshiping lord shiva over there or Who's bowing down also? Purushottam Kshetra has so much of uh, you know glories and so much of other stories also. So if you see the structure of Jagannath Temple is uh, you know it has uh, 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 this particular temple uh, is actually divided into actually four. This if you see first when you enter uh, there is the uh, Bhoga offering hall. It is called Bhoga Manda. Uh, mandapa then the second temple that you actually is in line only so second temple that you uh, actually just enter into because uh, the temple has some four very much uh, sexual structures you can say so the first structure when you enter into is like the uh, uh, bhoga mandapa or the of uh, or the offering hall you can say and uh, before that also the the main garbagraha is there then you have this audience hall then you have the dancing hall and then the last you have sorry is the uh, the bhoga mandapa and and this particular uh, the main inner temple that is there the garbagraha or you can say you can call it actually the small vimana also it is uh, uh 24 feet uh you know in height and wide location you know so it is called ratna simhasan also or ratna vedi also you can say it is a throne of pearls that are there in front of uh, the ratna vedi there is a very nice space called pokhariya where most of that worship of the supreme lord is performed where jagannath baldev and subhadra all are fixed and uh there is only one leading one door which is actually there uh, to take the darshan of the lord so um, uh it, it, all you know all this uh, towards that uh, uh, to all these halls when you go and you bypass there are different different stories also why the lord is uh, you know so, but with the main garbagraha just below that garbagraha there are many shaligram shilas and it is said that these shaligram shilas were given as a gift uh, uh as a gift from the king of nepal 
uh, over there. And that is why all the Shaligram Shilas are there. And on that particular then, you know, stage, uh, on that, on those Shaligram Shilas, then that particular stage or, uh, you know, that thing has been made where the Lord altar or the Garbhagraha is made as such. So that is why in that particular place, only the Pujaris or the king of Nepal, he is allowed to step into it. Others are just allowed to take darshan from a little distance and then they can, you know, this. so uh, there is there are other also like, you know, the Jagmohana or uh, like an audience hall, you can say. And uh, the doorway also has many, you know, this hall also has many doorways. One is opening to the Garbhagraha. It is called uh, Kalaghata Dwar and uh, the south door is called the Mukti Mandapa or the north door is uh, called the Ratna Bandara. So it is actually why for because all these doors are leading to some other other place. So if you see the north door if it is leading to Ratna Garbha where all the uh, you know valuable jewels and valuable jewelry or the treasury or uh, the images of the Ashtasakhi, uh, all these are actually stored up there. And the eastern door, if you see, it is opening to the uh, dance hall, Nata Mandapa, where it and that that door is called Jay Vijay Dwar. So, because Jay Vijay are the you know celestial uh, uh, devotees of the heaven, and they are also guarding the you know doors of Lord Vishnu. So, uh, the Ratna Simhas, and they are actually guarding that particular throne, which is made of pearls and jewels and gems. So, many other also, you know, things. So, we have one more, is called the Garuda Stamba or uh, Garuda Pillar. So, Garuda, because it is the, uh, you know, bird carrier of the Lord, and even Garuda is the king of the birds also. So, uh, Lord Jagannath is considered very much identical with Lord Vishnu and of course there is no difference between Lord Krishna and Lord Jagannath. So that is why uh, this Garuda is placed in front of Lord Jagannath on the eastern side of this uh, dance hall or the Nata Mandapa you can say. And uh, uh, even um, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also he used to stand behind the Garuda Stamba and he used to take uh, darshan of the Supreme Lord. And uh, the, there are many, many, you know, very much detailed uh, architectural uh, uh, stories also. Like if you see the, even the kitchen of the Lord. So you can say that why is the kitchen of the Jagannath temple considered to be the biggest kitchen? Because the length of that kitchen is only 150 feet. The breadth is 100 feet. The height is 20 feet. 20 feet means, you know, uh, 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet. You know, like that, uh, uh, you know, three-story building. And kitchen rooms, we'll have only one kitchen room in our house. But there are 32 kitchen rooms uh, in the kitchen of Lord Jagannath. And the kitchen has almost 240 chulhas or ovens, you can say. And this particular fire, I, as I previously also told, has never been put out. So every day, there are new earthen pots also used for cooking, uh, you know, the food in the kitchen. There are almost, you can say, close to 100 cooks, sorry, not 100, 1000 cooks and assistants who are serving in that kitchen every day. And this kitchen does not have any modern equipments. No mixers, no cutters, no grinders, uh, not even electric or gas stoves it has. And the way the food is prepared uh, is like, you know, how 500 years ago people used to prepare food the same manner. And still this kitchen can prepare food for more than 1 lakh devotees on a single day, on a daily basis, 1 lakh devotees. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, it is said that uh, Mother Lakshmi 
is personally cooking in the kitchen herself in this guise and uh, mother lakshmi is the chief chef of this uh, temple kitchen and um, very sacredly the, the the food is prepared over there and uh, primarily there are 500 main cooks and 500 assistant cooks that are there who are preparing uh, who are giving a helping hand so uh, this cook the the main cook is known as the sura so only suras are allowed to cook uh, on the you know on the ovens in the temple kitchen and then this assistants they are also divided into many categories and as such and uh, uh, those who can enter uh, the temple kitchen are called uh, you know, what are they called Joganya or something like that or Jogi something I don't remember the name and uh, uh, um, there are many many other assistants also and even if you see uh, they the, these uh, these uh, joganyas the, what they do is they are carrying the water from the well to the kitchen then washing cleaning the pots because see they are using mud pots to cook and these uh, these mud pots that are there they when once used for cooking then they don't use it the second time so a particular item is being prepared on that big pot and that pot is you know sent out after offering then it is not used at all so there is one complete family dedicated to only making pots you know generation to generation they are preparing these mud pots for the cooking and uh, uh, there are many other, uh, you know, uh, other also people who who, um, who are there in charge of many other things. So, uh, this this kitchen fire is called uh, uh, Vaishnav Agni also. So, Vaishnav Agni means um, mm, this kitchen has never been put into uh, put uh, been put out. Uh, because uh, many many years it has been you know that fire has been continuously going on and we know that uh, Salbeg was one of the persons and then uh, so the name of that particular particular person's name is actually uh, Akhanda something so he has to there is some, one more name I just don't, I don't remember that name his name is uh, some some syllable is also there that they don't have to actually, uh, they have to keep that fire burning throughout all days and all nights. So they make it sure, you know, that the fire is, you know, again and again. So they keep on putting wood after wood, wood after wood, wood after wood. So um, uh, this is how, you know, there are so many different types of cooking also in the kitchen and uh, so many different types uh, of rice being cooked in the kitchen a variety of rices are being cooked but there are some things which are not used or restricted inside the kitchen like they don't use potato they don't use tomato they don't use cauliflower they don't use cabbage lady finger drumstick onion garlic is strict no they don't use corianders also green chilies also red chili also beans also carrots also beetroots also Corns also, mushrooms to earn big no, capsicum a big no. These are all completely, you know, not used for cooking. Now somebody might worry that if all this is not in there, what has been used? But if anybody has had the Mahaprasad at Jagannath Puri, uh, that person is always contented and anybody is having Mahaprasad at Jagannath Puri temple, he will definitely um, not take a rebirth again in this material world so this is the story of lord jagannath i'll be giving more stories in the hindi section also on friday so if anybody white would like to actually uh, join in for that hindi section you can surely join in for that hindi section also on friday so i rest my speech over here anybody has any questions doubts queries well are free to ask me
माता जी हरी कृष्ण प्रणाम हरे कृष्ण प्रभु माता जी माई वाइफ स्टेलिंग टूडे आप दैट शी हर्ड फ्रॉम वन तेलुगु डिबोटी माता जी दैट वन डिबोटी माता जी इन जगन्नाथपुरी धाम शी यूज टू सिंग फॉर द लॉर्ड कीर्तन एंड वन डे शी गुड नॉट सिंग एंड जगन्नाथ जी पर्सनली वेंट आउट टू हियर फ्रॉम हर एंड नेक्स्ट डे मॉर्निंग पुजारी फाउंड दैट सम डैमेज टू द क्लोथ्स बिकॉज ऑफ थॉर्स इन द आउटसाइड समथिंग डू यू Yes, 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 Prabhu ji. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, that the that the correct story, Prabhu ji. Yes, what your wife is telling that. There are many stories. There are more than hundred of stories of how Lord is reciprocating and uh, uh, what to speak about those stories which have happened some hundred, two hundred years ago. We have stories which have just happened maybe thirty, forty years ago or even recent a decade before also. you know the lord reciprocating with the devotees maybe in your own life also you must have seen you know i went to puri and this happened with me and that happened with me the lord pro- reciprocates you know to the degree of that surrender of that particular devotee so 10 percentage if you have done then he'll reciprocate you know uh, you know to that particular degree so the lord's reciprocation is in you know very different ways with different different devotees so thank you mataji hari so priyanka is asking that will prasadam also cure our stomach related issues too yes for sure why not that prasad has so much of power that it will definitely cure you offer it with love and devotion krishna will also you know put his love and uh, reciprocate with you any more queries anybody has okay thank you so much dear devotees for